Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another home interior decorate with me style video. If you're new here today then hello and welcome, my name is Chess and every week on a Sunday at 7pm I post videos all to do with home, fashion and beauty so if they are topics that you like to watch on YouTube then I'd love if you could subscribe down below for more videos. So in today's video I'm going to share my ideas on how to style different wicker baskets in your home and also I'm going to share how to style the same wicker basket in different ways and in different rooms. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful and I feel like everybody on the planet has wicker baskets in their home so hopefully you can find some different ideas on how to style your wicker baskets in this video. And I'm also excited to say that I am collaborating with the basket company over on my Instagram and also on this video which I am so excited about because I literally love the basket company, every single one of their baskets. I need. A parcel arrived a few days ago and it's literally the biggest parcel ever. You'll see in a minute when I do the unboxing with you, the box was huge. It's like the biggest box to ever arrive at my house. So I'm really excited to unbox all the baskets with you and show you what's inside and I also just wanted to say a big thank you to the basket company for collaborating with me. And I do also have some other baskets that I'm going to style up in this video as well. So let's just get straight into the video. So I've just unboxed the baskets and look how good they look already. I can't wait to get them out. But literally just look at the size of this box. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to get these baskets out and show you them. So first of all, how cute is this little shopping basket? So I chose this for like styling purposes as I thought it would look really cute with like some books in or like some flowers poking out the side, with, like a really cute country modern feel. Next I got a little wicker plant pot and these ones are really good because they actually come lined. It feels like a bin bag inside so you can put like your soil in and like fresh flowers. So I have got some fresh flowers from the garden centre earlier today that hopefully I can put in there. I'm not really a gardener but I am trying to get into gardening. So hopefully a little plant will look really cute in there. It's such a cute size. I absolutely love it. Next is this much bigger plant pot and it's got this rope detail around the top of it and it's got two handles as well as you can see. This one also comes lined so how lovely would like a big plant look in there but I actually got this to put my faux olive tree in. You might remember the one that I got from HomeSense, if you watch my HomeSense haul. It's still currently not in any basket or pot or anything and I thought this one would be the perfect size and shape for that. So hopefully you'll see that styled up later on in this video. I really love the size of this and I love the colour of them as well. Like They're all in the same sort of colour and shade. They're the grey and buff colour I believe but I will leave everything linked in the description box down below so you can go and check everything out. Then lastly is this really big like square basket with the two handles there and this would be perfect for like logs um, if you had like a log burner but I think I'm going to style mine with cushions and throws. It's a really really good size. I think I'm even going to put it in my bedroom or the living room. So here are all the lovely baskets from the basket company. Let me know what your favourite one is. I literally can't decide. Um, I think, oh, I, I literally can't decide, I love them all. I really love the shopping basket. I just think it's really cute and like country modern vibes but I think the big large wicker basket is very Neptune-y and like would look lovely with some cushions and throws. And my two little plant pots are adorable as well. Please excuse the bin. Yes, it is a pink bin. <laughs> so yeah, a big thank you to the basket company for sponsoring this part of the video and you will see all of these baskets and more styled up in this video. The first section of the video is going to be how to style a larger wicker basket and I'm using this one from the basket company. This is actually in the medium size so you can imagine how big the large and the extra large are but I think this medium size is just as perfect to create more of like a statement look or have the basket more of a feature. So here I've just got it in my bedroom and I think it goes so perfectly with all the whites and the greys in here. I absolutely love it and I think it's a perfect size to put your cushions in after you take them off, you know when it's time for bed. Um, instead of just putting them on the floor it's a little bit more luxurious to put them in a nice wicker basket. Obviously it wouldn't stay in that position as it might get in the way when you're getting in and out of bed but for the purpose of this video and also if I was like taking a picture on Instagram I would probably have it styled a little bit like this but it can always just like go up against the wall. So yeah I think it's a really good size for a bedroom, the cushion looks so cute just like plonked in there. Definitely giving me modern country vibes, as does everything wicker. I think it's a really like modern country 
like staple that you should have if you want that kind of vibe. I definitely think that a larger wicker basket goes perfectly in any bedroom. So here is my second way to style a more larger wicker basket and I've got that same wicker basket that was just upstairs in the bedroom and I've brought it down here into the living room and I think it's the perfect size to just tuck away in the corner of your living room to hold any blankets or throws that you might not want on the sofa at that time and they just look really cute just draped out of the basket. I've just dragged it out a little bit so you can see how it looks nicely styled at an angle as well and because the wicker basket itself is obviously really pretty and stylish then you don't mind it being on show because it just matches all the decor really perfectly as well. So I'm really tempted to keep it down here in the living room even though I did love it upstairs with like the bed cushions in um, I really do like what it adds to the living room I think it goes with all the neutrals really nicely and I just love how it fits in this gap so perfectly as well it's not too big it's not too small I feel like the large or the extra large might have actually been too big for that space so I'm glad I went with the medium now but yeah I really love it definitely adds an element of that farmhouse decor vibes that we all love over on Instagram and yeah I am very tempted to keep it there actually and I also think for like the final way of styling up a bigger basket like this is to use it for holding logs for your log burner obviously we don't have a log burner but if I did um, and I really wish we did but it's just like not the right size living room for something like that so maybe in the next house but if we did have a log burner then I would definitely use a basket like this to hold all the logs in and put it next to the log burner and I just think it looks so cozy and lovely but even so I absolutely love how it looks with the blankets and the pillows and is definitely a lovely feature to have in any room as it's like quite a big piece of furniture but still really nice and stylish as well. So I always get a lot of questions about these baskets over on my Instagram and they were from Etsy and um, I will try and leave them linked down below but they were out of stock I think but I will leave the company down below but because these shelves on our TV stand by the way the TV stand is from the Cotswold company the shelves are only 13 centimeters tall each so it's quite hard to find decor pieces that will fit in the size of the shelf if you know what I mean so I thought I'll leave one of the shelves for styling pieces so I've got like a little candle there that's been pushed back for some reason I need to bring that forward and my Neptune coasters but then I also thought that some baskets would look really nice as like a decor piece that I don't have to change ever they just stay there like all the time and they are the perfect fit as well so obviously these won't work for everybody's TV unit shelves but you'll just have to like measure up and um, find the dimensions to the baskets and see which ones fit. What I really love is that they look very stylish and put together and go with like the neutral decor without you having made so much effort like you've just bought some baskets and put them on a shelf but I do think that they tie everything together it goes really nicely with the Cotswold Company TV stand yeah it really gives off that modern country look um, with very minimal effort so I'll just take one of them out so you can see here they are they're not very deep at all and they are more on the darker side than um, than I would usually go for but I still think that they look quite nice here and they also go quite nicely with that wicker table that I've got over there they're like the same sort of shade and yeah I really like them and I will try and leave them linked down below for you. So moving on to the larger planter from the basket company the one with the rope handles which I just think looks absolutely gorgeous here I just need to like fill it out a bit at the top and then put some like fake moss maybe or some hessian just so it looks like a little bit more normal. I've put the faux olive tree in the planter and I think it looks so lovely. I think it ties together really, really nicely. And obviously with it being the laundry room, wicker and laundry rooms just go together really nicely in my opinion. So I've just got the olive tree here next to um, our bench that my dad distressed for me. The bench itself was only £40 from Ikea, but it was a bit like orangey, yellowy wood colour. So my dad distressed it and whitewashed it and made it fit our vibe much better. And we absolutely love it now. And then I've just got a few little accessories, some photo frames up. I love how it all looks now. The rattan planter really ties it all together. I think it looks so cute. And I really love the detail of the rope and the rope handles as well. I think that's a really nice touch. Like I said, I just need to like get some stuff to fill it out to the top just so it looks like a proper plant but for now I am really happy with it and I absolutely love how it looks. Moving on to the gorgeous shopper from the basket company. I've just placed it here next to 
this like little bench area that I've got going on and how cute does it look with some flowers poking out of the edge of it. It just looks so modern farmhouse country vibe. It just looks really cute and countryfied and I really like it as an alternative to a vase actually because normally I would have like a large vase in this spot with like a big bouquet but I really like how the basket looks actually. Like I said before I feel like baskets are really suited to utility and laundry rooms. I think it looks perfect here. The flowers just look so cute coming out of it. These hydrangeas and the ranunculus are from Home Sense and how well do they match with the old season Neptune candle as well. I'm a big fan of this lovely shopper basket from the basket company. It could be moved to like the kitchen, the lounge, the hallway, the bedroom. It could be moved to any room of the house and it would still look really lovely and country -fied. So next I have this larger planter from eBay but it really does look so similar to the ones from the basket company so definitely a similar look there. And I was inspired by one of my friends on Instagram, Sam, at Hoop and home to create this little spring planter pot in a wicker planter and I really love how it looks so far even though the daffodils haven't flowered yet but the snowdrop looks really pretty and I've just got it here on my dining table I might move it around or I might just leave it I'm not sure I've just got it on like a little stone platter underneath so it doesn't mark the table runner but I think it looks really lovely and perfect for spring and this planter was such a good bargain over on ebay i think it was like less than 15 pounds so if it's still there i will try and link it for you or again try and link something similar yeah i really love how it looks hopefully the plants will grow and that we won't kill them um, I'm hoping that the sun will shine into the kitchen and if we just keep them watered then hopefully they'll grow. We're not really like green thumbs at all, um, Jake and I. I'm more into like home interior rather than like gardening but we're hoping to get into gardening a little bit more this summer as we do the back gardens and add like a few plants and trees and things so watch this space. I think a planter of this size is perfect for a dining table and our dining table is only small as well. Um, and I think any bigger then it wouldn't look right but if you've got like a really big dining table I think a planter like this would look really nice with some lovely spring bulbs in and it ties in nicely with my little wicker hanging basket on my shelf there as well. My other piece of wicker in the kitchen is my gorgeous hanging basket from Duck's Nest Interiors. I really do think it just adds something else to the shelf as obviously you've got your styling pieces on top. I just think the wicker looks really cute and makes the shelf look even more country like which I love as well. Here on the windowsill we've got that smaller planter from the basket company and this is the one that came lined so we decided to put some like real flowers inside and so we've just planted some apple blossom inside I just picked it up from the garden centre today and I just think it looks really sweet there on the windowsill it'll get all the sunlight because our garden is usually always in the sunlight because it's a south facing garden excuse the gin glasses in the sink but I think it looks really nice tied in with the other wicker pieces that we've got in the kitchen as well and I just really love the colour like the ashy brown colour looks so nice against the white and the new in the kitchen. So here's like a little far away shot of the kitchen. I know it's going dark outside but I just think it looks so ready for spring. So they are my ideas on how to style wicker in a kitchen. Obviously planters and plant pots are a really good way but also I really love my little hanging basket as well. So here is another shopping basket that I absolutely love. I already showed you the one from the basket company and that definitely works in more of a larger space where you've got a little bit more room. If you've not got a lot of room or you just want to style up a smaller space, then a smaller shopping basket just looks absolutely adorable. This one is from With Love Abigail and I absolutely love like the brownie ashier shades. It's the perfect size to fit under my little hallway bench that my dad made for me. And like I said before, the shopping baskets look really nice with like flowers hanging out of them, but also you could swap the flowers for some books or some catalogues like I've got here. And I think it creates a really lovely look. I really love how this looks on the hallway bench. It goes really nicely with the neutrals and styled with some smaller pieces next to it. I just think it all looks really well put together. So I will try and find this on With Love Abigail's website. She might still have it in stock actually, I'm not so sure, but she does sell baskets of all different kinds all the time. So I will definitely leave them linked down below. So here is our front door. Please excuse my coat on the banister. I just can't be bothered to move it upstairs. So as I was just saying, that's our little hallway bench. And here is another way that I style wicker in my home. I've got an umbrella basket here, which I absolutely love 
love. It's from With Love Abigail again. However, I don't think that she stocks these on her website anymore. So I'll see if I can find like any similar ones to link down below. But I really do feel like it adds something else to your front door. It just makes it all feel a little bit more homely, if that makes sense. And it's perfect for obviously umbrellas. There's an umbrella in there at the minute. And um, when it's raining and you open the door, you can just like grab one and your hair won't get ruined. <laughs> when I do move it out of the way to do like hoovering or whatever, it does look really bare. So I just think it's in the perfect place there by our front door. And again, the color is really pretty. And what I have done in the past is hang some faux flowers out of the edge and that does look really pretty and girly, but I've just got it bare at the minute and I still really like how it looks there next to our front door. So another way that I style wicker baskets in my home is by having a stair basket. This stair basket is from the White Country Store. I'll leave it linked down below if it's still on the website. So as you can see, our stairs kind of curve and then go straight. So I've got it on the first step. That's kind of like goes straight forward, if you know what I mean. And I really love how it's got this little bit of like fabric as well. I've just tied it in a little bow there and I think it looks really cute and country-like. And inside, I've just placed a few books and catalogues and I've just got that Neptune one at the front there as I really like the pattern on the front of it. And I just think it jazzes up the stairs a little bit really. Obviously we've got the panelling, which I absolutely love. My dad did the panelling for us and it's just like my favorite thing ever. The color is just perfect. It's Cornforth White by Farrow and Ball, if anyone is wondering. Um, the little olive tree looks really sweet there in the corner as well, but I just feel like the wicker basket with like the brownie ashy shades just finishes it off really nicely and looks really lovely there on the stairs in my opinion. So I am gonna leave the video there, everyone. I'm just ending the video in the hallway mirror as I just can't be bothered setting up the tripod in the kitchen again. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I style the wicker baskets in my home and maybe you got a few ideas for your own home as well. Please do leave me a like and a comment down below and let me know which pieces you like the best. Again, a big thank you to The Basket Company for collaborating with me on Instagram and YouTube. I was so, so excited and I really hope you love the baskets that I chose. Don't forget to subscribe and turn post notifications on so that you don't miss a video. I think I'm nearly at 700 subscribers right now, which is absolutely mad. So thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed already. It really means a lot to me. Thanks everyone and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.